Hello everybody! Welcome back to Amity Bloom. I am so happy to have you back again. My name is Nazzy for those of you who are new and today we are going to be working in our bullet journals. Now if you've watched my previous video I showed you how to create this little journal right here. It's super super simple. Probably the easiest journal I have ever made. I was really shocked at how fast it was to create it. It's a quarter of the time that it usually takes me to create one of my textile journals. And yes, for those of you who have been asking and were wondering, a new collection of textile journals and regular paper journals will be for sale this coming weekend. Here's a little sneak peek. <laughs> If you already have a bullet journal that you use on a regular basis, then by all means just use that. But if you tried that tutorial out and you created yourself your own little bullet journal, then definitely stay tuned to see how I will be setting this up. I am a beginner in the whole bullet journaling concept. I used to use my Traveler's Notebook for planning, which I still use, you know, on and off again. I did purchase a Malden. This is a file effects Malden. I made it as colorful as I could make it because I always thought of a Malden as like a grown up type of a planner. I just can't get into it. It's really just, it's boring for me. I want something that I'm not just, you know, inclined to put things in rings and that's it. I want to make it vintage and I want to incorporate my vintage style but with a modern twist which is bullet journaling so basically the gist of this whole project is I want to put everything that is in here and transfer it into here but in a vintage style the style that I know and love this wasn't a style that um, was really interesting for me so I completely abandoned it I did use it for like a couple of months as you can see pretty much just color coding the important stuff when like I felt like my brain was going to explode so I did do that, but I want to transfer this into this style, so let's close this up. Now that you have pretty much seen my history with planning, this is why I wanted to try out a bullet journal, because of its easy and inviting method of planning your life, but in a creative way, which is totally up my alley. This is the first page, and I want to make like a introduction page, like a key, sort of. So when I open up this notebook, I want something motivational. I want something exciting and fun and something that will invite me into my bullet journal. So I pulled out these two pages from my planner. So I kind of want to put that here or here. I'm not sure. We'll see how I do this. Or I might tip it. Oh, you know what? I might tip it in. And then this, obviously, my little Bodie bird. Basically, I have an obsession with the name Bodhi and basically all of my family members dislike the name. No one likes the name around me, but I love it. So I've decided to always put a little bird in my journals, in my traveler's notebooks, in my bullet journal and call it Bodhi. So Bodhi will definitely be there. And I'm going to put this as a little flip out. This is some typewriter font washi and I am obsessed with it. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to flip it and this flips out. Perfect. So let me flip this over just so that it gives us some room to work on. I have this paper and this is a little strip of some faux ledger paper. I want to use it as my key and basically it's just a table that we use to distinguish between what symbols we're going to use in our bullet journal. I really love how this looks. Now, of course, we need to collage. I have this little strip of some striped paper. I'm gonna make it kind of offset a little, just like that. I have some of this vintage paper. I think this would be really cool to use. So let me cut some of this music paper off. I like that. I like how that looks. Okay, so let's start gluing things down. All it is is just decorating it however makes you happy in that you use, you know, the supplies that you have. So I really like that. Now, obviously, I need to glue the rest of this paper. I have this sticker book, which you guys are probably tired of seeing me use, but I love it. It's such a fun little sticker book. Isn't this cute? A little hexagon sticker. I think I might add that. I might add that somewhere. Hold on. Let me put let me put you right there. This is part of a sticky note. So let me cut off the excess there. 
So I'm adding that little label sticker right on top in between the blue design paper and the music paper just to bring that in as our focal point to where we want to add our title. So let me write key. So now I can bring my little stickers here that I put on the side. This is what we have so far for my introduction page. Now I want to add this sticker probably like right down here. But I need a type of paper underneath it just so that it's not too white. All right, so I zoomed you guys in a little bit so that you could see what I'm writing. Little circles are going to be for tasks. Circles that have been filled in are completed tasks. Circle with a line that's canceled tasks. So these are just like basic tasks, like basic to-dos. Open squares are business tasks. A square that's filled in is completed business tasks. But triangles are important tasks. For YouTube, I think I'm gonna make it a little star. And then I'll do a little heart for Loki or Michael or family. <laughs> A little dot and that is just notes so that is the key that I have finished I really like it I kind of want to add some washi tape here I think it's very bland just to bring in some more color and you know decoration just like that all right so that's the key finished now here I want to add something else I kind of want to add a motivational quote here we have this really cute polka dot paper I think I might use that. All right, so I went into my vintage paper stash, my collage papers, because I kind of want to use it as like a background paper. So let me actually lift this paper up, okay? And this is going to be like my title header. So let me add that there, and I'm just not, and I'm not going to let it cover up my background collage paper. So I'm just going to trim off a little bit. There we go. Or let me grab my sharpie pen and let me write remember so I wrote this quote on the side that says remember life isn't about finding yourself life is about creating yourself and I really like that quote because every single day you have the power to create the person that you want to be and I think this is a perfect quote to put in your planner or in a life journal that you're using to kind of guide your life and organize it. The purpose of life isn't to have everything organized and everything planned and about finding the perfect way to do that. It's about creating a life that you're happy with and creating a life filled with things that make you happy, which is why I'm doing this whole thing. I know that in order to keep being successful in my life, I do need some method in some form of organization, but I'm going to do that in a way that keeps my happiness and keeps my creativity. I'm not finding a way to be perfect. I'm finding a way to be me. I really love this quote. I think it's absolutely beautiful. So I think that's it. I kind of like how the font is a little quirky. <laughs> I'm not liking what I wrote here at the top just because with the brush pen, it's a little bit too thick. I really liked how the Sharpie pen wrote better. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in with this paper, which is just a scrap of paper that I had left over. So I just add some glue and then I'm just going to cover it up and I'm going to write right over that. Because any mistake, any mistake at all, it can always be covered up with paper or washi. I really like how that looks. I kind of want to add a staple. There we go. I really love how this looks. I think this is really cute. And I think the one thing that this is missing is I need to include some type of collage, something really pretty to make me even more happy when I open it up. So let me look into my little container of tags. This is the tag that I chose. It says lovely and I think it kind of matches my own little font there. So I really, really like it. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to just hole punch this top area. So like right there, grab some twine. So here's a cute little tip. Take your twine and take your little pieces at the end. And with some clear tape, 
you're just going to wrap them together. So just give it a little wrap. And once more, and trim the excess. And then once you have that, you cut it to be a little bit shorter so that it doesn't stick out so much. Grab some washi tape and tape it into place. And you can staple over that so that it doesn't move, but I find that the washi tape keeps it pretty secure, but you can staple it. And that way you don't have an annoying little knot at the top of your page, which tends to happen if you tie it off. It's either here or there. And your tag is free to move, but still it doesn't go crazy like out of the page. It kind of maintains in this area. So that is it to my first page. I really love how this little page turned out. My key is here for my bullet journaling. Now for this side, I have this little project life card that really matches with the color scheme of my page. I'm just going to add some double-sided tape. Now you don't have to use double-sided tape. You can use washi tape or just regular clear tape if you don't have double-sided tape at home. All right, so now I'm just going to place that right there. And we have our little pocket. Now we can keep whatever you'd like in that little pocket that you'd like to keep in your bullet journal. You can put it in there. This is a little sticky note that has all of the days of the week. And then I have this cute little mason jar die cut, which I will put right there. I also have this really cute die cut from Maggie Holmes which I think I will put it right there in my little mason jar. All right, so there we go. I did go a little bit extra with the little things that I'm putting in my pocket, but I'm not going to keep it like that, or I might. I don't know. We'll see. But I just wanted to show you how you can decorate your little bullet journal just as if it's a traveler's notebook. You can make it really cute and quirky with little ephemera pieces and little tags that you've decorated and cute little things that make you happy and bring you happiness. So it's a great way to organize yourself, your life in a creative way. So I truly hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you thought down below. Let me know if you guys are going to try out a layout such as this. And if you're not, if you don't like bullet journaling, then I do hope that you guys enjoyed this video and it gave you some inspiration perhaps in your personal planner. So thank you so much for watching and I hope that everyone has an amazing day filled with peace and love. Bye-bye.